Hi, this is Greg from ASUS, and in this video, we're going to take a look at four of our brand new Z370 motherboards. From the ROG Maximus Hero down to the Tuff series, we've got a wide variety of motherboards here that can help you make the most out of the latest 8th generation Intel CPUs. Intel has really stepped up the performance with this latest generation of CPU. They've now got 6 core 12 thread Core i7s, 6 core 6 thread Core i5s, and even quad core i3s. But in order to take advantage of these new CPUs, you'll need a Z370 board. Even though they have similar sockets as the Z270 boards, they're not compatible. The boards I have with me today share a lot of features between them. So the first thing we're going to do is go through those features that are common on all four. First, they all have dual M.2 slots, and all but the tough board also include heat sinks to help keep your M.2 SSDs running fast and cool. Next, they all utilize our safe slot reinforced PCIe slot technology to help support heavy graphics cards and reduce card sag. And finally, they all support up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory at up to 4000 megahertz or more. So those are some of the key features that these four boards have in common, but let's get into the differences. Now the first board we're going to take a closer look at is the ROG Maximus 10 Hero with Wi-Fi. This board is designed for overclockers and extreme system builders who want to push their components to their limits. It's the only board in this lineup with dedicated water flow and temperature sensor headers to easily monitor a custom water cooling loop. It also has a pre-mounted rear I.O. shield that makes installation a breeze. Looking closer at the rear I.O., we've got 2x2 802.11ac Wi-Fi, 4 USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, and 2 USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports. It also features our latest Supreme FX S1220 audio codec with 8-channel HD audio. Now lastly for this board, there's 3 RGB headers, there's 2 standard 4-pin headers, and a single 3-pin addressable header to use with addressable RGB accessories. So the next board we're going to take a look at is the ROG Strix Z370 E Gaming. First, the rear I.O. shield is not pre-mounted. And if you look closely, you can notice that they've added a DVI port, but they've taken away two of the USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. There's also no BIOS flashback feature. However, it does use the same 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. The audio codec is the Supreme FX S1220A. And lastly, this board also incorporates three RGB LED headers with one three-pin addressable header. Next up is the Prime Z370-A. This is a great all-around motherboard that includes features we think most people will appreciate. The rear I.O. is a similar layout to the Strix board with the integrated DisplayPort, DVI, and HDMI if you want to take advantage of the integrated graphics on the new 8th generation CPUs. For audio, the Prime uses a Crystal Sound 3 S1220A audio codec. It has an integrated RGB lighting strip down the side of the board and a single RGB LED header for additional RGB LED accessories. And finally, the last motherboard we're going to take a look at is the Tuf Z370 Pro Gaming. Now these boards are built with military grade Tuf components to maximize durability. These boards are designed for 24-7 performance. Now on the rear I.O. it's very similar layout to the Prime, however it adds a PS2 port and gets rid of the display port. It uses a Realtek ALC887 high definition audio codec. And for those of you who are not fans of RGB lighting, you are in luck because there's no RGB lighting on this board just a single LED that lights up the Tuf Gaming logo. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick look at these four Z370 gaming motherboards. Of course, you can view the entire lineup of all of our Z370 boards on our website, clicking on the link in the description below. If you have any questions about these boards or any other ones, go and ask them in the comments section. And if you really enjoyed this video, subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.